Welcome to this week's Swarf Reacts. Thank you so much for sending in all your videos. I've really enjoyed watching them. So let's go on to the first video. Oh, that's a schoolboy error. So what I presume, have they used coolant on this? Well, I think the coolant ran out. Ah, uh, always check your coolant levels because otherwise you'll need a tap buster to get this out. Would you say that's scrap? No. I, Would you be able well, to draw it, that out? It, it depends. With how much that's actually sticking out, Do you, think you you'd would be able probably to... get away with some pliers. WD-40. And, 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 yeah. You, you'd probably get away with getting that out. That, you might yeah. have to get. You might have to then go in with a tap buster. You to can get see the by the discoloration out. of the um, of the swarf, can't you? That there's been no heat protection on that, so it's yeah, it's probably 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 for the bin. So what we could do with that to get it out is we could uh, have an electrical discharge. Is that right? An electrical discharge machine, yeah, like a zapper. A zapper. It's like a you know, have an electrode which will send a current down the middle of the drill, which will basically split the drill into three pieces. So you can then easily retract the drill out of the hole. Um, nine times out of ten, they work, but probably in this instance, you will be able to use some sort of lubrication to lube the area and pull gently pull it out. Because the problem with this is, if this, if you've done a fifty-hour cycle, let's say something stupid like that, and that is your last process. You just feel like an idiot. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. You I've like done it before. Idiot. I've yeah. done it. Doing it before and you'll do it again. So use your coolant. Next video. Oh. <gasps> is that stuck? Oh. Oh, is it going to show you? Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. It's took it right out. Oh, he's going to knock it out. No. Oh, it looks all right, actually. What a silly, he's gone really depth of cut there. So what I presume is he's gone down too much. He's gone in the scrap bin. Scrap bin. <laughs> what, he's, he's gone down too much there, hasn't he? Because the top of the face mill is actually touching the material. I'm, ge I'm guessing something went wrong when pro either probing the tool or probing the job. Which one do you think? Uh, let, let us know at home which one you think, whether the, the tool was either cast as longer than it is or the billet was cast as taller than it is, right? Is the face mill broken? No. no it's just it's just a bit um damaged. Uh it's, th it's just cosmetic, isn't it? I yeah, suppose. I think I think pulling the tips out, going in with a file, you'll get all the aluminium off it. Yeah, yeah. It'll yeah. be there to fight another day. But, it come out like a little bit of jigsaw piece, doesn't it? Yeah, but then again looking at it, I'm I don't know. Um wait till it goes back round again. But then then Oh no! It, yeah, I didn't know if it got aluminium tips in or it it, it got general steel tips. The tips looks tips okay, in. to be fair. Yeah, I think the tips are okay. I think it. I, I'm guessing it's it's it's. I tell you what, it's had a good go at getting through. It's got pretty damn far before it. Yeah, stopped. like how did he get that far before he realised? Because the top oh, of that, the the top of the tool holder must have been cutting its own way through. It's gone about fifty million as well. That tool's done pretty damn well there. <laughs> Anyway, whatever that tool is, let me know what it is and we'll, we'll give it a try. <laughs> Next video. I can hear a robot and I can see the shadow of a robot somewhere. What's this doing? Oh, oh that's going quite slow, isn't yeah, it? You need to listen. Okay. It's... Oh, it sends wait, shivers wait, down wait, my wait. spine. So listen to it vibrating. Okay. And it's not vibrating anymore. Why? And then it'll vibrate again. Because it's gone over the hole. So this... Is it using it in a different direction? No, this is from Saragossi yeah. in Spain. Yeah. And this is their patent, one-of-a-kind technology to fight chatter. Okay. So if you look on the video just to the... Where the toy is now, look straight left, you'll see like that cable coming off. Like on the pole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. So this see, yeah. has like a... This has like a big... Thing that's magneted onto the back of the material. Yeah, yeah. And they fight chatter with chatter. So, so they that... direct chatter into the chatter, which cancels yeah, it out. Yeah. So that thing on the back is measuring the chatter all the time. And then, and it's then they chatter their head. They they use the, the 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 spindle head is then starts to chatter. Yeah. At the same f uh, frequency as the chatter machine to cancel the chatter out. So it means you can still take big. How cuts. did they know that this would work? How do they know that cancels ch chatter cancels chatter? 
They, they've just. But Let me can, listen to it again. You can see it on the part. I mean, it's slow as you can hear the difference, can't you? And all that is, is that that is magneted onto the back of the part. Yeah, you can see it. And then at the side of the machine, the uh, operator's got a box and he has a switch. Is it, can you see like a frequency? Yeah, they have like a, an iPad set up. Yeah. And it's constantly measuring all the time. And when you turn it on, so this is actually called, and let me get this right. That's such a cool thing. What does chatter cause? What what problems does chatter cause people? Well, chatter can cause you to scrap apart. Okay, that that far, it can get that far. It can it can if, if you Why? get because if you get the enough chatter. Finished. The problem is if you're taking if you're taking a little cut and you get chatter, then you can actually take more off than you ever intended. Because it's yeah yeah, fantastic. Well, there you go, chatter versus chatter. And that's it for this week's Wharf Reacts. Thank you very much for sending in your videos for us to react to. And if you have any, please send them into the link below and I'll see you next time.